Hello there, you well. My name is Sabrina Bewitched, and welcome to Tea from a Cauldron. So guys, this is my new show. I'm just starting out. I don't really know what it's going to be. We'll just have to wait and see as we go along. It's a mystery. It's it's fun. It's it's, it's a surprise. No, no. Did I fuck my makeup up? I really hope I didn't fuck my makeup up. I just thought this week would have, would have a, wee, a wee girly chat. This week I've decided to talk about just life in general. Mysteries, things, fun, people, places, nouns. Oh fuck, I just shook the camera. This week, me and a few friends decided to go to a local theme park. I don't want to say the name because I don't want to get sued. I have no money. And in this theme park, there was a lot of rides which I have never ever been on. I'm not a fear of fans. I'm not a fan of fears. I'm not a... I'm not an adrenaline junkie. We got on a few different, like, kind of famous rides. I know, like, a lot of people have got on growing up and shit, but I just, I just wouldn't do it because I'd book everywhere and take a nosebleed and faint and, like, fucking die. We decided to get on the sticky wall. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, the sticky wall basically looks like a massive room from the film Saw. You kind of have to stand against this wall and the door closes, you're locked in, you don't know if you're gonna go out or if you're gonna see anyone again, it's all part of the fun of the ride. The ride starts spinning, it gradually gets faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and faster, and faster, and faster, and faster. until by the power of gravity and black magic you're stuck to the wall, then the, <laughs> the floor lowers, you're kind of stuck floating a little bit on the wall but like stuck up in a bit. There were some people on this ride with me who are obviously a lot more fucking skilled than I was. There was a little girl that was pure crab crawling up the wall. She was like exorcist or some shit. I tried to move a little bit and I started sliding. I was like, nope. Tits, 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 tits. Fuck, pish, bitch. Watch your profanity. Where is this video going? Where is this going? I don't know. Ugh. There's a candle. There's a candle up there. The show was a lie. There's no tea in here. It's not even a cauldron. A lovely bit of perfume. I remember one time I didn't have any perfume and I had to use Febreze. Should I do a makeup review or something? I'll do a makeup review, fuck it. I don't really know what else to talk about, so we'll just do a very brief makeup review. Tonight I decided to use um, the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly. <laughs> Listen, there is, it's, it's, if you don't have it, Steal it. Can you see it? Can you see it? The camera's probably lost fucking focus. So yeah, whenever you open the palette up, you can see that there's like a mirror, which is blurry because I just wiped it. And um, there's also eyeshadows, and that's that's definitely what you want in an eyeshadow palette. Lots of eyeshadows. A brush. It's double-ended. Um, you can use this for doing your eyeshadow, or you could use this end for also doing your eyeshadow. It's very, um, it's very versatile. I have no fucking deal what to do for this video. I didn't pull on it before I turned on the camera. It was just spontaneous and fun. Guys, before this goes off real, before this goes off the reels any further, I am going to go. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Give me some suggestions of something to do in the future. Should I react to something? Should I do a makeup tutorial? <coughs> but listen, it has been great talking to you. So if I don't see you through the week, I will see you through the window. I hope you have a magical day, and I will see you next week. Bye.